Hello beautiful Libra, welcome into my channel Miss Rumi Healings. My name is Reem and welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Libra. I'm going to get into your spiritual growth, your personal development, healing and guidance and then I will flow into your romantic love life reading. So I will timestamp in the comment section down below when your love reading begins. Okay Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Libra. Last shuffle. These are the raw runes that we're going to start with, and then we will move into the tarot. If you begin at the bottom, it's the poplar tree, poplar tree. I'm actually seeing um, a book. This is also B, B for book. I'm seeing a book, like someone opening pages of a book and they're flipping. I know it looks like mountains this way, but I'm actually seeing a book. Number 18, which is nine. Why am I seeing that? Something is prophecy. Something is like mere prophecy. Like you're reading um, a book of prophecies, something like that. Reading a book of prophecies or hearing a prophecy or go, it's like when you go to a psychic, they tell you, oh, this is the prediction. But you take that as just a mere prediction. It's just a mere prophecy. But with this begin, it's like that prophecy begins or it's like mere prophecy turns into absolute truth. Yeah, I'm seeing hood, harvest. Wow. See, hooded, unseeing. Something, something is just mere prophecy. It's like you're, it's, you can't see it. It's just, you hear it. Okay, this is really strange. Someone, this could, this could be either, either way, okay? Either someone told you that something is going to happen for you. A psychic, a friend makes a joke, makes a prediction for you, okay? And you're just like, oh, okay. Um, you go to a psychic, you read your horoscope, or you see a vision and you see it, you read it yourself. You receive a download, you receive a vision, you receive it. However it resonates with you, however it applies to you. Either someone tells you or you see it. Or you receive a download or a channeled message for yourself about this. Okay, it's unseeing. You hear it. Or you see it through the veil, unseen. Okay, you see it through your third eye. Okay, this is just mere prophecy energy. It's not necessarily existent in your reality. It's not necessarily in fruition. It's not truth. It's just mere prophecy. It's just say. But this mere prophecy, the unseen prophecy becomes seen. The mere prophecy turns into absolute truth harvest it's like the prophecy is harvested the truth is harvested the prophecy turns out turns into absolute truth my third eye is going it's like this like someone is doing this on it tapping it this is also a year I'm seeing you're coming full circle to something. This could be at the end of this year for some of you guys, not all of you, really depending on you. 
end of this year or early in the new year. This is very significant. Something significant in your life. That was just mere prophecy, but it turns into absolute truth. I don't know what it is. It's, it's obviously going to be different for all of you, okay? But you heard it or you've seen it, okay? Someone told you or you received a vision or a download or a message about it yourself, okay? Let's see. You have here a ton of pentacles. <gasps> this literally is the harvest card. Look at look at this. Look at the shape. See the shape? Tangible pentacles. I can touch it. Truth, absolute truth. It's also 10, which is October. Something is significant for this group in the month of October. Could be your birthday the following year, because I know your birthday just passed. Some of you, this is talking, they're giving me dates, and I have to be really careful about that. Something about October, something about the end of this year, and the beginning of next year is significant. I don't know how, I don't know if those timelines are connected or if they're threaded, um, or you fall like different groups of you in this collective message fall into different periods of those times for this harvest, for this absolute truth, tangibility. Look at that, the golden egg. I'm telling you right now, look at this, the ace of wands. This is, I don't know how much information they're going to give me. Yeah, see, every time I see the buffalo, the buffalo is blocking the energy behind because lightning for me is enlightenment, an announcement. Um, breaking energy because I'm seeing the tower in my head. I'm seeing this tower. Sorry, they're, show they're giving me so many images. Just one second. I'm seeing this tower because of this buffalo here. Something striking down. To break free, to break open, thank you. They're saying it's to break open, to break open, to release something. It's like, it's like breaking the egg, breaking the egg. To release the absolute truth for harvest, for, for consumption. Because it's tangibility, it's you can you can intake its energy, you can touch it, you can feel it, you can smell it. Like it, it'll be, it's real. It's in your reality. You can be embraced in it. Um, it's tangible. It's tangible. It's in your reality. Oh, my third eye is interesting. This is a very interesting energy. Look at the butterfly. Right? Okay, let's shuffle and see what cards, what can, what else can they bring out here? I like this golden egg. Let's see. Two of wands. I love seeing the hanged man in this position, in the reverse, because it's telling me the hanged man's coming down. Hanged man is also number 12, right? You do, you do have here 12, so 12, 12. And that's what we want. We want the hanged man to descend, right? We're in that energy where we are coming down. We're bringing our spiritual energies down because the seeds have fallen from the hanged man when we were positioned as the hanged man. Our seeds fell. Where did they fall? Onto the ground. They fell onto the ground. 
so that the seed can run deep into the soil, nourish in the soil, and soon give birth. Something tells me that you heard this, seen this, shrugged it off. The seed fell, fell, fell from your pocket. You had no idea things fell, fell from your pocket when you were in the hanged man energy. You had no idea that seeds fell in, from your pocket onto the soil that nourished itself, right? Am I saying, am I talking properly? I feel like I'm not. <laughs> this energy, I'm feeling really warm. Anyways, someone, someone, something tells me that you guys shrugged whatever you heard off. You shrugged it off. You didn't believe it. Yes, five of swords. You didn't believe it. Then you have your that wheel of fortune. There's something about that. Oh, there it is. The crow, of course. Of course. Prophecy, foretell, for foreseeing. Oh god. Here we go. Seven of Cups. There. The High Priestess. That's the High Priestess. Behind behind the veil. The un Everything unseen. The High Priestess sees. The High Priestess will only give you information when it's right. It's all, also about prophecy. These two cards are all about prophecy. The Crow and the High Priestess. There's something really interesting about this hangman energy. It's almost like you got down. You got down because you, you didn't believe in something anymore or you were tired of being stagnant. You were, you were tired of being static. Um, you were tired of hearing some kind of story or some kind of prophecy or you were tired of receiving the same message or having the same vision or having the same dream. It's like, why do you keep showing me that if it's not here? Careful of what you think. Watch, watch your words. Okay, and watch what you believe. Because your belief is going to dictate the perception of your path. Okay, watch that. Watch that. Doesn't matter if it's a prophecy that turns into absolute truth, which is what's happening here, but if your perception and your mind turns in the other direction, you're gonna go there, your prophecy is in that path, but you're gonna be on that path. You have to align yourself, Two of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, in the direction, in this direction, to where the prophecy unfolds into absolute truth, okay? Because with this tarantula, I'm sensing it's, the tarantula is underneath the hanged man. Um, I'm sensing a lot of aggression. Impatience as well. Here with the cobra. Because typically the cobra is very, very patient. Extremely patient. Okay, understands of divine timing. But the way this cobra is coming out with the tarantula, this is aggression and impatience here impatience if you're not resonating with aggression but i am sensing someone's aggression so let me just grab my energy here because that's not mine um some of you are getting down from this hanged man energy because you know it's time you know it's time You 
you know what obstacles to remove in your mind. Someone's in a mind trap, self-sabotaging, five of swords. There's a lot of mental games here. There's a lot of astral mental games and I don't think they're yours. Because I said that earlier where I felt aggression, maybe you're feeling aggression that, and that's not yours. Maybe you're feeling some kind of mind tricks or mind uh, games and they're not yours. There's something here that isn't yours. So I feel like spirit here is coming in to remove this mind trap because it's not yours. I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. But it's not yours. Something isn't yours here, but you're intaking it or perceiving here as a hanged man that it is mine. This is mine. This is my, this is mine, but it's not really yours. Okay, this mind trap, this self-sabotage, however you're questioning yourself, your self-worth, your self-doubt, or if you have cosmic doubt, spirit doubt, whatever is going on in your mind, it's not yours, okay? So I feel like for some of you, you got out of that hanged man energy because you saw the truth of something. So now you're realizing, okay, let's move out of this mind trap because I realized, okay, that's not me. That's not mine. That's someone else's energy. This is someone else's aggression. This is someone else's impatience. I don't know who this is for you. It could be someone close to you. It may not even be someone close to you. Someone jealous of you someone looking at you be careful that energy is going to come up a lot the wheel of fortune with the two of wands we talked about that right but it, there's still something here that's unseen for me Man, that high priestess and that crow. I feel like that high priestess was the one tapping on my third eye. <laughs> oh my goodness. Some of you did see this in a dream, okay? Be, be, pay attention to your dreams. If you're having a repetitive dream, pay attention to it because it's not just a dream, it's a message. Some of you may just get the nudge or the indication that this is time, something is time. S some of you are getting the indication that something is not just a fantasy, it can be birthed into reality, it can be birthed, okay? Did I say that earlier, if you keep fantasizing about something? I don't know if I said that. Or someone tells it to you, but you, okay, if you went to a psychic or a friend told you this, or even you imagine something over and over and over again, and you play it off in your mind, and it's like, oh, that's just a fantasy, that's just a fantasy, but I keep seeing it, I keep seeing it, even in my dream, in my subconscious mind, it comes to me, my sub, it's like your subconscious mind is trying to tell you something. Your subconscious mind is trying to advise you of the things unseen. And the absolute truth that is going to be birthed. The mere prophecy turns into absolute truth. The mere prophecy turns into absolute truth. The sun, absolute truth. Right? And it's the same color as the sun and the moon, actually. I feel like we've had this reading with for you before something feels very familiar here and i don't know if i'm having deja vu or if you're the one having deja vu i'm having trouble discerning what is mine and what isn't and i feel like that's something that you guys are experiencing or just spirit is kind of warning to be more cognizant or aware of the energies that are yours or not yours especially during this time when the mirror prophecy is in the process of becoming absolute truth
Oh, that's weird. I just heard two prophecies. I don't know how this works. I'm just going to say it. I don't care how crazy it sounds. I'm seeing two prophecies become one. I have no idea what that is. And the reason why they're bringing me to this because there's the crow and the high priestess holding two of these... Um, like crystal ball energies, okay? The poplar tree have two of these um, lines, okay, where I felt like they were books, like a, a book split into two, right? And you're like flipping the book. That's originally what I thought of, correct? And then you can see this energy is actually this. So if you take this, or if you take this rather, and you shift it and you move it here, and this line extends, you actually get this rune is something that I'm seeing. There's something about two, two prophecies, one absolute truth. Two prophecies, one absolute truth. Two prophecies turn into one absolute truth. Okay, I'm being cut off. I don't know what that means. I don't even know if I can do your love reading, but let me try. That could also be related to love. I'm sorry that, I don't know. I feel like I didn't give that much information. That's all that I was able to channel. It's just, it's something that you heard, okay? It's something that you keep seeing. It's something that you keep fantasizing or dreaming about. It's um, a dream that you keep having. Maybe a friend said something to you in passing and it's, it hasn't, you haven't been able to stop thinking about it. A psychic told you about this years ago and you might have shrugged it off. Um, you could have seen it, right? mirror prophecy and at the end we got the message of two prophecies turns into one absolute truth i really don't know if we need to do a love reading but i'm i'm gonna try i don't know but let's see now i really don't want to go to the runes <laughs> because <gasps> they're crazy energies okay let's flow let's keep flowing all right i love you libras all right let's see For Libra's love life, can we get insight? I feel like we're gonna get the same message. My third eye is going. Let's see if I'm even allowed. Because I feel like for this group, part of your prophecy or what you keep seeing, maybe that's for some of you, these two prophecies. Maybe one is like your destiny and your love life. Or maybe your love life is part of your destiny or the person that you're connected to is part of your destiny. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, something like that. Something like that. Uh, or maybe it's just two different prophecies or maybe one prophecy is yours, the other prophecy is the other person. I have no idea. Um, I don't know. This keeps coming out, original birthright. I'm so warm right now, and you have your present and gateway. Okay, let's do a brief love reading. Um, see, this is, tie this is tying into that prophecy. 
I know how it sounds, but this is this is the energy. This is the message. It's a mirror prophecy turning into absolute truth, your absolute truth, your original birthright. Aries actually had this card because there was a rune that I saw on the Four of Pentacles, the woman wearing an earring, and on the earring was this rune. And that Aries reading, um, watch it if it applies to you. If this, reason, if this reading resonates with you, watch the Aries one. was talking about returning to a, an original soulmate. And I feel like this is very collective energy because this, this message keeps coming out. And the gateway or the portal was actually a portal to the past. Portal to the past life, past lives, okay? To bring forward into the present moment an original soulmate. This energy is going to, this energy is going to keep coming out in the collective. Maybe that's a prophecy, one of them. I feel like I couldn't, I don't know, I don't know. I don't like tapping into prophecy energies, to be honest. <gasps> there you go, the moon, the sun, the sun and the moon. This is really, this is power, these are powerful energies. Again, we talked about the subconscious mind, the dream state. This is actually, this is a gateway, okay? Your, your emotions are also gateways, all right? Um, dreams are gateways into the into the dream dimensions see i feel like you're kind of slipping per se slipping into this gateway you're slipping into past lives what are you doing you're retreating an original soulmate retreating them or re returning to them excuse me returning to an original soulmate You're slipping through a gateway. I can't channel this anymore. I feel like I'm being cut off. Let me see if they'll give me more cards. I can feel it where I'm being told to stop. You're slipping into, did I just say that? You're slipping into the past, a past life gateway and you're returning to an original soulmate. Can you give me any more information on this? Queen of Swords. Can you give me any more information on this? What was this? Two of Swords. It didn't quite want to come out. Can you give me any more information on this? Can you give me any more information on this? Thank you. Wheel of Fortune again. It's the same energy. Wheel of Fortune was in your spiritual growth. Four of Wands. Can you give me new information? Give me any more information. New information. New information. Can you give me any more information? Thank you. Ten of Swords. Ten ten. I feel like I'm literally trying to pull teeth right now getting these cards out. They're not gonna give me any more. I'm. I feel like I'm just. Oh look, I stopped at the King of King of Wands. Okay, this is where I'm gonna end your reading. All right, we already talked about how you're slipping through this gateway. Okay, returning to a past life soulmate of yours. Okay, that's originally. It's like the original soulmate. All right. The Tenosaurus is just talking about here. 
Remember how we had the sun and the moon? This is like you positioning yourself, redirecting yourself, moving towards the sun, towards the light. Getting up from something that has caused you a lot of turmoil. Getting up from something. I'm getting an energy that someone here thought that they couldn't love again, couldn't find love again. You have a lesson here that has been repeated here with the Wheel of Fortune, has been very cyclical, very cyclical here. I'm getting cycles with the wheel, and that's interesting because I don't always get cycles with the wheel, but the wheel is turning, and it was continuously turning the same lesson over and over and over again. Because it's interesting, I'm, I really wanted to get the world, to get like a completion energy here. But it feels like you are coming to a completion, coming to a close, because you're at a gateway here. But they're saying it's up to you because you're thinking about this. It's up to you to put something to a close or not. It's up to you to return to this original soulmate. It's up to you to pass through this uh, gateway, past life gateway, to return to your original soulmate, to return to a original soulmate. It's up to you here. Or do you want to continue to repeat? Wow, some, this is up to you. This is up to you. So I feel like you're thinking logically about this. You're thinking logically about the pain that you have endured, that you have felt. You've felt this before. You've felt this before. And so like you try, listen, this is the way I'm seeing it. You tried, you tried, you tried, you tried, you tried. You will succeed. Okay, does that make sense? Just like how many times you fall. You fall, you get right back up. You fall, you get right back up. You fall, okay? It's almost like you're questioning yourself. Like, what if I fall again? Will there be someone to catch me? What if I fall again? Where am I going to fall to? What if you fly? What if someone catches you? You have a lot of tens here. Look at ten of wands. Ooh, you have a king of pentacles there, queen of wands at the bottom of that. I'm just going to look at the bottom since they're not giving me much. You have a lot of tens. There is, see, the reason, there's a lot of tens here. Completion like energies, right? Completion. But this completion is up to you. It's up to you. It's like how many times you want to keep trying. You're going to get lucky. You're going to feel lucky. It's your turn. It's like it's your turn here with the Wheel of Fortune. It's your turn to return to soulmate. It's your turn to receive absolute truth. Okay? There's going to be choices. There is going to be choices. No matter no matter what, you can choose to be with an, with your original soulmate or not. There's going to be more than one. I'm seeing three court cards here. I'm not seeing a third party situation. I'm just seeing options. You have options. Where do you want to steer your boat to? You want to steer your boat to this one, this one, this one. The original soulmate or the other two? The other two are going to be similar. But who's the original soulmate? This is very, um, it's a little bit abstract. And I'm sorry that I can't give much information. They won't give me much information because this is part of prophecy. And I can't tap into it. I can't. And so I usually don't get storylines like this, but this is a storyline that I have. What is this card? Oh, the Two of Cups? How did this get under here? It was literally hiding underneath another deck. Spirit, how did I miss this? 
the two of cups the tower the empress and the nine of wands you thought i would not see those cards and i talked about the tower how did i miss them it's gonna come to a surprise it'll be a surprise are you open to it like i said it's gonna be up to you it's gonna be up to you you want to open the fence you want to open the gateway look at the gateway you want to open the gateway or no <laughs> oh my god all right i'm gonna leave this here <sighs> enjoy it enjoy it let me know what you guys think tell me about your dreams tell me about tell me just about what you perceive okay i feel like you guys would know more than i know right now okay i love you guys bye